We're here at Spooner Summit, Highway 50, on the Nevada side of Lake Tahoe. We're about to go uh, do a little ride this morning. Yeah. We have climbed almost 2,000 feet, and now we're here, and we're Lake Tahoe's over there, and the coolest thing is we're in Nevada. <laughs> This whole plan was hatched uh, two years ago when we made a road trip here to Caliente and we talked with the community and on the way over we thought about why don't we do like a road trip, a van familiarization tour, you know, with a group of people. You know, we've basically followed the Highway 50 corridor from Lake Tahoe pretty much almost to the Utah border. Right now we're in Kingston, Nevada at the base of Bunker Hill. We're at the Miles End Ranch and we're about to go do a rock crawling uh, shuttle. Some pretty heavily articulated Jeeps and an uh, old blazer, so this should be pretty interesting. Here in the Toyabi Range, it is rugged. We're talking steep mountains. It takes a lot to get all the way up here. Sunset, um, nearing the finish before the descent. We came into uh, an opening like uh, zone and the light was just golden like this orange, almost like egg yolk farmy orange and um, everybody stopped and just looked west and uh, it was purely magical and then, you know, then we finished with an amazing descent. Ely, which is a small mining town on the uh, eastern, one of the eastern points of Highway 50. There's been some folks working here and living here and working ambitiously on making some single track. And so today we rode off of Ward Mountain, something called Ice Plant, which was this amazing bermy, flowy, through the pinyon and juniper, just a ripper trail. Without the community and the motivation that they see in recreation and the future that they can build in their own community to get people outside and enjoying the outdoors, can't do it without that enthusiasm. And in each of the communities that we've passed through, they're unique in their own way, but there's one thing that's been consistent and it's that enthusiasm for building trails and the hope in bringing people to their communities to discover these different towns that have a lot to offer. We have the greatest crew, uh, Ass, Kurt Gensheimer, um, assembled this crew of misfits and then just connected with some folks here and there. You know, do you have to go far to like have the experience you need to actually find growth in, within yourself? I mean, I think a lot of people are chasing that and they chase it over oceans to find it when it's right here in your backyard. You know, this kind of place is so open, you could just spend your whole life looking at it. When Kurt said he's put it together, you know, I've always wanted to do it. Never had the option because I always, always have to travel because sponsors want you to do this or go there and it's exotic, it's third world, it's tough. It, you can get third world out here, you know, you don't gotta go so far. And this place is right here in your backyard and I guarantee you can never discover it all. And 
we're here today in Caliente, which um, just got a million and a half dollars uh, to build a new trail. And there's a lot of new cool stuff going on here that I was here under two years ago, there's nothing. And now there's almost 15 miles of single track. For me, shooting in the desert is the dichotomy of the fact that like every other living animal in the desert is nocturnal. And during the day, they're like hiding out under a rock or like in a, like a little sagebrush or something. But as cyclists, like we're out in the middle of the day, and I just find that that dichotomy interesting. And then when you compile that along with the, the unique textures of like a dead juniper tree, or you know, crypto soil, or like some kind of sagebrush, and you get colors, and you start getting mineral changes in the soil, and you you use that as the main focus of the image, and it just so happens that there's a cyclist in that. Here in the middle of nowhere, we just drove through this amazing rabbit brush, all the yellows and the colors out here, and then you have this sick trail that you climb up and it doesn't even feel like you're really climbing that much, and you can just have a great time with your friends and send it on some sand castles. Are these your friends? These are kind of my friends. <laughs> you like yellow dog? Where the pronghorn, antelope, and mountain bikers roam.